which is the Hobby King cheap servos, the Chernagy 2826, 2200 kilovolt uh, motor with a five inch prop, pusher prop. And I have here a 30 amp ESC. And basically <laughs> what I did is I made a single, uh, I made a plane out of a single sheet of Dollar Tree foam board. And what I wanna do is I just wanna show you how it flies. Before I show you how to make it, so you can see why I think it's a great deal to make. This thing really cooks. It can go vertical, unlimited. I can take it up to the clouds in about maybe three to four seconds. But I'm keeping it close so you can see how it flies. I'm getting, I'm guessing, 70, 80 mile per hour. I'm not sure. I don't have a radar gun to tell. But the performance is amazing. And it flies in high winds, too, for such a small um, wing. It's amazing. But because of the speed, Performance wise, I've, this is my best performing plane of all the planes I fly. The thrust ratio of the engine, is, I'll pick it up high, you can see it just goes vertical. And here, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I'm a, pretty close to cloud height there. And to be honest, it's so high I'm having a hard time seeing it, so now I'm bringing it back down. Here it comes. So, it just, it actually accelerates in the vertical. I noticed in the dive or straight out, it flies about the same speed because the uh, motor is pushing it to the maximum of the airfoil, the way I have it set up here. And yet, the motor runs cool because the um, airfoil is so small that it's really not pushing that hard. It weighs a good amount for such a small plane, but the thrust, it doesn't have any problem lifting it. I put a 1.8 three cell battery in it, which means it can go forever. It goes about, at full throttle, it'll go eight to 10 minutes uh, with a 1.8 three cell, turn the battery and I use the ones the Turnigies with the high C rating always so that way you get maximum performance and if you push the battery it doesn't cook like the low C ones will The, the motor is behind, it's a pusher, so if it did hit me, I imagine it would sting a little, but really, it's such a small plane. That's one thing that's nice about it, you can bring it by you nice and fast. If you do the motor mount properly, as I talk about in there, you should have similar flight characteristics 
at full thrust, medium thrust, and with uh, no power at all. If you did the motor mount perfectly, that's the way it would come. This one here happens to be that way, but it's one of a dozen that I've made, and this is the closest proximity that I've come. And you can see I ha have the, thr the thrust angle set, so it's just a little bit, the motor is facing, I'm accentuating it, but this much, very little down, but if you want to face it just slightly this way. So it's pushing the nose of the plane down a little, just slightly. And I'm talking, you can see by the prop, it's very slight. And then you want to make sure that you have it left to right uh, nice too, that uh, you're not pushing to one side or the other. Very important to get the, uh, the, the motor, the angle of that motor just right. So that's what I'll be talking about in the build. But you can see it's a very uh, inexpensive construction. Uh, for a couple of bucks for your servos, you're talking like four or five bucks a piece delivered. You got a, a 30 amp ESC, another 20 bucks there. You got $10 in your motor, which comes with your spinner. And then your props, they sell those five, they're like a 5.3, I believe, inch prop. It is a 5.5 by 4.3 uh, inch prop. And that prop sells for like two for two dollars, something like that. So everything's very inexpensive. And uh, what I like about this flying wing is you can fly it without regard. If you break it, um, so what? So you have to you take all this stuff out, build the next one. The, the foam board's a dollar. You're using the Adams foam board that you get at Dollar Tree. Your uh, tape, if you get the fancy tapes like me, you're into it for a dollar for your tapes, two bucks. And you can fly it like crazy. Here's the battery that I'm using, the Ternigy, um High Charge LiPo 1.8 3 cell, uh, 20 to 30 C just discharge rate. Um, I find that it, the battery is just a little warm. My um, ESC is, is still cool. My uh, motor is cool. I can fly fly after flight and it never gets hot with this combination. So. Um, I'm going to have the build video up shortly and it's going to show how to make this for a couple of bucks.